Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about absolute value of a number. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to accurately plot integers on a number line, correctly determine the absolute value of integers, correctly order integers from least to greatest, and vice versa, and correctly solve real-life problems involving absolute value. How will you determine the absolute value of integers? How is the knowledge of absolute value important in solving operations on integers? What is the absolute value of a number? How is the absolute value of a number related to its distance from zero? And what symbol do we use to represent the absolute value? So these are the questions that we want to um, answer at the end of this lesson. First of all, let's review the number line, the concept of a number line so this is the integer number line this is zero to the right of zero the numbers are the positive integers so we have one two three four and so on so this arrow right here indicates that it goes on and on while to the left of zero we have the negative integers or the negative numbers so we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on, indicated by this arrowhead. Well, 0 is neither positive nor negative. So wala siyang sign ang 0. Again, to the right of 0, that's positive integers. To the left of 0, those are negative integers. So absolute value. The distance of a number from 0 is usually is referred to as the absolute value it is denoted by this symbol so we have two straight vertical lines and then we have the number inside it so x here represents any number it could be positive or negative so this is read as the absolute value of x the absolute value of x example if we have this one this is read as the absolute value of negative 5. The absolute value of negative 5. So when we say the absolute value of negative 5, it refers to the distance of the number negative 5 from 0. So we have this as the number line. So we have here 0. And this is the number negative 5. So how far is it from 0? So that is 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. So negative 5 is 5 units from 0. So therefore, we say negative five, the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. Next, we have the absolute value of 5. So meaning how far is 5 from 0? Or what is the distance of 5 from 0? So let's count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is also 5 units from 0. So therefore, the absolute value of 5 is 5. Another example. What is, what is the absolute value of negative 8? So the integer negative 8 is 8 units away from 0. So this is 0 and this is the number negative 8. So we count the distance. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is 8 units from 0. So therefore, we say the absolute value of negative 8 is 8. Let's remember, there is no negative distance. Thus, we have the absolute value of negative x is x. So when we say um, the absolute value of negative x, meaning that uh, the absolute value of any negative number is equal to its positive value. That is, if we have the absolute value of negative 1, that is equal to 1 or positive 1. When it's positive, um, it's okay just to, uh, it's okay not to say positive. So when we say 1, it means to say that it's positive. So again, that's the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. Another, the absolute value of negative 6 is 6. So what is the absolute value of negative 20? Yes, you're right. It's 
positive 20 or 20. Next, the absolute value of 0 is 0. Um, why is it 0? Because the distance of 0 from itself is 0. So, the absolute value of 0 is 0. Next, the absolute value of a positive number. The absolute value of x is x. So, the absolute value of the positive number is equal to that number. Example, posi uh, the absolute value of 1. And so, that is equal to 1. The absolute value of 6 is equal to 6. How about the, the absolute value of 20? That is equal to, right, 20. So which has a greater value? The absolute value of negative 10 or the absolute value of 8? So even without the use of a number line, we learned that we can identify um, the absolute value of negative 10. So negative 10 is 10 units away from 0. And so we say the absolute value of negative 10 equals 10. And 8 is 8 units away from 0. And so we say the absolute value of 8 is 8. So since 10 is greater than 8, therefore we say that the absolute value of negative 10 is greater than the absolute value of 8. So we say the absolute value of negative 10 is greater than the absolute value of 8. Let's practice. Plot the points on a number line. So we have number 1, y equals 7, o equals negative 2, j equals negative 7. Where are these points located on a number line? So let's draw a number line. Okay, so we have here 0. Where is point y? That's positive 7. So this is positive 7. So there's point 7. And so we name that point as y. How about number 2, point O? That's in negative 2. So this is negative 2. So we put a dot on negative 2 and then we name it as O. How about number 3, point J? That is on negative 7. So this is negative 7. So we make a point, put a point there negative 7, and so we name that point as J. So we have points J-O-Y, joy in my heart. More practice. Compare the two integers using the symbols greater than, less than, or equal. We have absolute value of negative 12, blank 12. Which one is greater, the absolute value of negative 12 or 12? Or are they the same? So the absolute value of negative 12 is, right, 12. And so we also have 12 here. So therefore, they are equal. Number two, order the values from least to greatest. So we arrange down natin no, from least to greatest. Yung pinakamalit na value hanggang sa pinakamalaking value. So let's, um, let's simplify first. Uh, these expressions. So we have absolute value of negative 8. This is equal to positive 8. This is positive 12. This is 10. And so this is 5. And so this is 9. So least to greatest. Alin ba sa kanila ang pinakamaliit? So we have positive 5. We have this. Okay. Because this is 5. We have this because this is 8. And then 9, then we have 10, and then this one is 12. Again, the value is 5, 8, 9, 10, 12. Let's practice more. There are two buses, bus A and bus B. They left the station at the same time and traveled at different speed in opposite directions. After one hour, bus A was 20 kilometers to the left of the bus station. And bus B was 24 kilometers to the right of the station. 
represent the given information in absolute values and find the distance between bus A and bus B. So this is bus A and this is bus B. So bus A traveled to the left side of um, the station and bus B traveled to the right side of uh, the station. So the bus station serves as the starting point, so that is zero. And so what we need to do is the distance between bus A and bus B. So bus A traveled to the left of the bus station, so that's negative for 20 kilometers, it's negative 20. So the distance from the station is the absolute value of negative 20. Well, bus B traveled to the right for 24 kilometers. So the distance between, uh, the distance of bus B from the bus station is the absolute value of 24. And so finding the distance we have, the absolute value of negative 20, that's from bus A, plus the distance of bus B, that's um, the absolute value of 24. And so we have 20 plus 24. Kasi absolute value ng negative 20 is 20. Absolute value ng 24 is 24. And so 20 plus 24, we have 44. Therefore, the distance between bus A and bus B is 44 kilometers. Now it's time for you to practice yourself. So copy and answer this in your notebook. So we have A, 1 to 4, B, 1 to 4, and C, 1 to 5. And take a picture of your answer and send it to me in Messenger. Again, copy and answer this in your notebook. And then take a picture of your answer and send it to me in Messenger.